Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to the K-Wings Let's Plays channel, and we've got a special preview of Dragons, Dawn of New Riders, Ooh. part of the How to Train Your Dragon series. Yay! This video was sponsored and brought to you by our friends over at DreamWorks. In the comment section below, tell us your favorite character from the How to Train Your Dragon franchise. So this game will be coming out in February, a little bit before the new movie drops, and this is a side story to How to Train Your Dragon 3. So cool. these characters are not going to appear in the movie. This is kind of their way of branching out and making, you know, a, a different game. It's on all platforms, so Xbox One, PS4, Switch, and I believe PC. Oh, there's Toothless. Yay, Toothless. And Hiccup. <laughs> with his leg thing. Yep, his little leg. Nope, oh, no voice acting. Look at this place, Toothless. All that smoke we saw in the air didn't prepare me for that this much destruction. Who or what could have done this? Yeah, his little crippled leg there. Oh, poor, poor Hiccup. Chief Hiccup. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, Truthless is upset. Over there, bud. We've got a live one. Judging by his garb, he's not local. Hey, you there. You okay? Any injuries? Broken bones? I can't make my voice crack anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Where, where am I? And this is, uh, Haven home, I guess. Yeah, it's the Dragon Refuge my friends and I built. This place not too long ago. I'm Chief Hiccup of Burke, and this is Toothless, Alpha of all dragons. <laughs> yeah, it's go. pretty cool. So this, you know, uh, from the previous. Uh, movie. I'm. I don't know. I I can't remember who I am, how I got here, or what happened. Yeah, actually, um, Toothless was the Alpha in the second uh, film. Mm -hmm. uh, seems like you've uh, taken a hit to your head during uh, whatever happened here. Hopefully your memory will come back over time. Okay. Maybe you come from some place oh uh, as that dragon egg over there. Never seen anything like it. Have you, Toothless? Oh my gosh. Actually, that was pretty good for his voice, but you you don't have to do his voice exactly. Uh, hmm. What's you've got here? A journal? Looks like it's filled with scribbles. Uh-oh. Nice. Oh. That didn't sound good. Come on, Toothless. We need to check that uh, roar. Astrid and Stormfly are out there somewhere, and they might need our help. You stay here, uh, Scribbler? Yeah, Scribbler. That'll work. <laughs> that's, that's what you're going to name the poor kid? I know. Okay. Why would his name be Scribbler? Well, that'll work until we find out what your real name is. Stay here and keep that egg safe, okay? Huh? Oh, you sure? What if whomever or whatever did this comes back? How do I defend myself, let alone this egg? Looks like an Eskimo. Yeah. Ah, relax, you'll be fine. Uh, see those chests over there? Uh, they contain useful items. Because I just got here, I already know this, like weapons and shields. Help yourself to whatever you find inside. Come on, Toothless, let's go. Chief, uh, to uh, not Chief Toothless. Uh. Chief Hiccup, ladies and gentlemen. Well, well then, Mysterious Dragon Egg, it's just you and me now. <laughs> we'll stay safe here and sound until Hiccup and Toothless return, I guess. What? Wait, what's happening? Where did the smoke come from? Ninjas! <gasps> oh, Vikings. Uh, quick, grab the egg while the smoke screen's still thick. Oh no, he took the egg. Yes, he did. He's laughing too. He must be diabolical. <laughs> oh no! Those dragon trappers just stole my egg! I have to go after them! That egg and I are connected somehow, I think. I just know it! I better grab the equipment in those chests that Hiccup mentioned! Wink, nod. Not okay, so, so you know what we, nudge, we nudge. Need, need to do now? Uh, what was I that? I better uh, do what Hiccup just mentioned and grab the equipment. Wooden buckler, which is just a fancy way of saying shield from Vikings. I like that Viking shield. Yeah, and we got an old axe, and my axe. I like the axe. All right, I'm already a fan. Oh, yeah, that's right. How to train... Um, yeah, How to Train Your Dragon is one of my favorite movies of all time. 
We do have both movies, and you do like them a lot. I love the series because I love dragons, I love Vikings, and the fact that they're friends in the movies is like, oh my gosh. Plus, I love Celtic music, and there's really nothing that can be even, you know, better. I just love the series. So the gameplay style of this is kind of reminding me of Skylanders a little bit, or that kind of, like, top-down... Uh, adventurous type game. Dungeon Crawler? Dungeon Crawler, yes, thank you. It's been a long day. That's what Skylanders is, and I think why it reminds you of Skylanders also is because of dragons. The dragons, the music. But yes, the music is awesome. And like most Switch games, this can be played on the go, so... Oh, this is why it reminds you of it, because of the... The top-down look. Yeah, and also the way it looks, like, with the, um... Oh, the, just the little, like, uh... Is where that it a looks sheep? like the highlands, you know? Sheep. Come here, sheep! The sheep are invincible. The terrain of Celtic terrain looks like this. Yep. With the little fjords and little islands and stuff. Oh, what was that down there? Oh, okay, so B is roll. Uh, something shiny. Something shiny that I can't get to right now. Alright, I'll make a mental note of that. Note? Mental made. Self? Note self. made. Note to self. Oh wow, that's fast loading times. Okay, so that torch right there is probably like some type of like checkpoint system. Yeah, it looks like it. I oh, like that, playing the bad guys. That guy, that guy is some. Um, His laugh is fantastic. Yeah. Oh. Wow, apparently rolling destroys uh, whatever that was, bushes. Aha! Ah, I found another chest. I found a flower inside of a chest. Maybe that acts as like currency or something. I mean, they have to have something. They, they would have, like, a trading system back then, right? Not so much like, oh, here's some metal or paper, paper objects. Well, the Vikings traded with a lot of different cultures. Press Y to swing the axe multiple times to perform a combo. Okay. Yeah! In every culture that they, um... Never mind. They settled near. They had to learn the, the uh, customs and trade with them and stuff. I, I thought Vikings also had a, a barter system, like in, in the old days, Yeah, too. I think they did. Smashing boxes, chopping plants, defeating enemies, and opening chests will earn you herbs and ore. You can use these herbs and ores to purchase tunics. Tonics. Buffs, upgrade weapon, and create new armor oh, throughout the game. I think it's tonics, like um, tonics? medicine. Medicine. Okay. Uh, no. Open your inventory with plus, and all things you find and collect in the game are yours to keep. Yeah, they probably had some kind of currency. I really don't know a lot. I just know that they had to interact with a lot of cultures. Vikings is your expertise. I, I knew I know a lot about samurais and ninjas and medieval stuff. I, I don't really... Even being, like, you know, half Irish, I don't know much about my Celtic or Irish heritage or anything like that. Or ancestors. Know a little bit about my Portuguese side, but that's about it. Well, all I know is that people say that. Um, well, so, hold a to. Well, people say all I know is that uh, people say that the Vikings just like pillaged people and stuff. But actually, if you listen, if you read a lot more about them and listen to a lot of documentaries, you find that yes, they would like. Yes, they attacked some people, but they also settled near other people and learned about other cultures and tried to interact with them and stuff. They were travelers who eventually got mad and just, like, uh, attacked people, more or less. Okay, dodge and hold stuff to sprint. Wait, you can sprint? How? Let's go with that. Let's go with that, yeah. But I prefer the Vikings in How to Train Your Dragon series than, you know, other Vikings, because scary stuff. All right, so it looks like that thing's going to hurt us. Can I walk sideways with a shield? Yes! Okay, so if I step on this platform... We're gonna get shot. Whoa! Yep, knew it. Oh, yeah, you could just do that. Uh, With your well. little tiny shield. Apparently it didn't work all that well. Uh, their viking traps are not very good. Alright. Yeah, you made it past their trap. You're so sneaky. I already figured out the shield thing, but okay, thanks. Hold ZL to raise your shield. Oh. Whoa! Ouch. That could have been painful. That's smarted. You almost got the point of that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's the Viking ships. Yep. All right. Anything else cool over here? Well, actually, the whole thing with dragons is one of the reasons why I like the Vikings so much, because they would have dragons carved on the front of their ships. Dragon up. Which is 
I think so cool that they put dragons in the movie How to Train Your Dragons because I always thought that Vikings must have interacted with dragons, otherwise how would they know how to carve them on their ships? So there you go. Hmm. Fascinating. Oh! Old ZL, when looking at the enemy to lock onto them, whilst locked on, use B to roll around them. So, so it's Z like a Z targeting. Z targeting, yep. Did it work? Uh, ah! Lock on with ZL? And then hold B while pressing ZL in? Aha! I'm rolling around you! What now? Whoa! Good job! Ninja, vanish! Hold Y and then let go when ready to hit enemy with an unbreakable heavy attack. Wow. That sounds fun. Are you literally fighting a bear or... Whoa! K.O. Or is that a person with a bear That was costume. a person. Watch out for flashing red indicator when enemies attack. These attacks cannot be blocked and will need to be dodged. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's flashing red right there. All right, I got it. Eat this! See, look at that. That takes a huge chunk of stuff away. Yeah, that, yeah that's kind of cool. People with Oops. animal skins that reminds me of uh, something. It's like a uh, special type of elite soldier that had animal skins on in the Viking Age. I forgot. There we go. Old. Later, dude. Well, we call that dude dead. <laughs> that's who he is. Okay, we're moving on. Wait, is this another trap? You're gonna shoot me with stuff? Nope, okay. At least you were ready for it. I am. I had my buckler ready. Just picked up a tonic. Can I break this? Nope, can't break yeah, that. Yeah, I like the music to this. It's very peaceful. Very Warcrafty. Mm-hmm. And Skylanders-y. I like it. Found yeah. the egg! I actually like the art style of this. Oops. Oh no. Hey! What the? Hey, let me out! What do you even want with me and this dragon egg? Uh, Melody. That's a girl. That's a girl? Take it up with a pale poacher. He tells us what to hunt, not why. Now, where is that titan winged dragon you rode on in? Uh, what? Titan winged dragon? What are you talking about? I don't remember anything before. Uh, before. What's that? What are you doing, bookworm? Uh, nothing. It's not me. It's the egg. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, look. It's a dragon. Kind of. Whoa! Did you just hatch out of that egg? I have to say, good timing! Your explosive hatching stunned, stunned those trapsers and busted us out of that cage! Thank you! By Odin's blood, what kind of dragon is that? He doesn't look like any kind of ice dragon I've seen before. I'm done answering your questions! Now you tell us something or we'll find out exactly what this ice hatch actually can do! Who's this pale poacher, and why is he after these dragons? Uh, if I told you, it'd be the last thing I ever said. Our boss values his privacy, and his punishment for loose lips is worse than anything you could do. Tickling? We'll go with that. Then leave me and this hatchling alone! Sail away from here and never come back! Aye, that we will. Just don't think this is the last you've seen of the mighty Melody! They kind of ran away there. I'm glad they're gone. Thanks again for the rescue. Not sure how we wound up together, but I'm glad we did. Rawr. Did you just... You, you did. I you was roared. the okay. dragon. All right. All right. Scribbler, is that you? Toothless and I saw an explosion of fire and ice and lightning and came straight away. Honestly, we weren't expecting to find you in... Who's this little one? <laughs> oh, he hatched out of that egg! Saved me from a bunch of dragon trappers! Um, hmm, no wonder I didn't recognize the egg. We've never seen this type of dragon before. 
He looks like he's made up of a bunch of different breeds, like a patchwork dragon, like... <laughs> a chimera! A creature made up from the parts of many other creatures! According to Greeks, that is. Why can I remember that, but not my own name? I can't go by Scribbler forever. Maybe he's Greek. <laughs> Trust me, it's not that bad. Try spending a day being called Hiccup. Why did you name him such a weird name, Hiccup? That revenge for his name. Yeah. Yeah, laugh it up, bud. Speaking of names, though, what are we going to call this little Chimera Ragon? How about Patch? You know, short for Patchwork. What do you think, little guy? Woof. <laughs> I think he likes it. Patch it is. Seeing as you two are going to be together now, uh, I'll need to form a bond. Um, just reach out your hand and let Patch come to you. All right, so he's going to teach the, uh, the thing. Whoa, how is he going to do it? Is he going to bite him? No, that's it. You have to watch the first uh, How to Train Your Dragon movie. That's that's kind of like the bonding thing. That's it. You're a natural. That's how to train your dragon. Uh, how's it feel to have a new best friend for life? They're going to be best friends for life? It's that simple. Oh, it, feel, it feels amazing. It's like, I don't know, like we belong together. Ah, maybe you do. Now let's head back to camp, see if Astrid and Stormfly have returned. Why is Patch's tongue hanging out? Hmm, still no sign of Astrid. Hopefully she's having better luck locating whatever made that roar. Hmm. There's Patch. In the meantime, we need to rebuild the campground. Let the dragons know it's safe to return. That means calling in some reinforcements with a terror mall. Mail. Terror mail. Okay. <laughs> the terrible terrors carry messages to go to and from barrack for us. Hey, look, there's one waiting for us now. Oh, there it is. Look, the little dragon. Hey. Dear Hiccup, if you'd be so <laughs> kind as to cut short your wee flight of fancy, perhaps we might have trouble return home before Burke gets burned, buried in dragon dung. Our village is completely <laughs> overcrowded with all the rescues. If you've seen so much as a fireworm lands, the entire land has collapsed under all the weight. Eck. I thought uh, you and Night Theory of Heroes used to drink and responsibilities back when you were my apprentice. Hurry back, Chief, and do something, you know, chiefly. Get gone already. Signed, Gobber. <laughs> that was amazing, Luke. Uh, uh, Scribbler, I need to return to Barrack and take care of this. Burke. Burke, whatever. No problem. Patch and I will search the rest of the island. See if we can locate that roar. I have a feeling it's connected to what happened here. Okay, Peachy. Just keep an eye out for more chests. The trappers you faced so far are nothing compared to what you may encounter going forward. Take this map of the area. It'll help you find your way. Thank you. Now, what do you say, Patch? Ready to start this little quest of ours? Roar, roar. Sorry. No, that's fine. It just had to be Patch. Up, up, and away! Goodbye, Toothless. Yeah, we'll go with that. Open up your map. Finding the Roaring Dragon. Alright, so... Oh, that's a decent-sized map. Okay. I wonder if we could find the Roaring Shadow the Cat. She's sleeping somewhere. I'm guessing we have to go either there, or what looks like a sleeping dragon, or some type of... <laughs> I don't know, Oasis or something. I have to say, if our cat got lost somewhere, she would continue to meow until we found her because she really meows a lot and very mm -hmm. loudly. She would just keep going, meow, meow, like for hours until we found her. <laughs> she does do that. All right, so. Mm, so some dragon came in and burninated the village. Yeah, totally. Whoa! Oh, those. Little... Whoa! What? I think I'm playing as a dragon. What? Yep, oh I'm playing gosh. as a dragon. I shoot ice. You have ice power. What else do I do? I uh, think that's those... it. I thought those um, gates are made to look like dragon heads. How did I do that? 
Uh, uh you see. switched. Oh, I think it's it's the L button. There we go. Cool, you can switch between them. Yep. That's kind of fun. All right, let's play as a dragon for a patch. little bit. We're gonna play as Patch. Yep. Ooh, he's so cute. See ya, yeah, dragon heads. Yep. Dragon faces. I just saw the dragon faces. All right, so we're hanging out with Patch. Press minus to open up the exploration map. Your current objective will always be displayed on the map. Yay! Current objective. So. So, well, Astrid's Academy. Object. Well, I mean, you got that weird markings there, or you have that. I'm We're... pretty sure you are the red markings. Do you think so? You, you and Patch are those two red blobs. Okay, so then we need to go well, somewhere else. It doesn't look like we can pass through here at the moment, Patch. Looks like we need something to activate that statue. Let's return here once we found it, even though we don't know what it is yet. That'll probably be important later on. And we're still playing as the little dragon. Chimera dragon. Arr! Blue snow. You're welcome. I know you want a pet dragon, but no. I have one right now in my mind, in my fantasy world. Why am I not the least bit surprised? Oh, there's a little black sheep. You can't hurt animals in this, come on! Oh, you don't want to hurt the sheep. Whoa! I froze the water. That was kind of cool. Yeah, that was cool. I mean, you can't freeze that water, though. Just stuff to walk on. Aww. Aww, pretty music. Uh, oh, I know my memory's fuzzy, but I'm pretty sure I can't walk on our... I'm pretty sure I can't walk on water, Patch. Oh, uh, maybe if you freeze it? Hmm. Hang on a minute. Maybe you could freeze this water with your ice breath. Well, there you go. So, we figured it out before, so switch to your character with L, then press Y to fire your elemental abilities. So Patch can use ice. Oh, you froze like a path. Yeah, look at that. And now our little buddy here can uh, hang out. So, you can see that it's kind of like shallow looking water, so mm -hmm. easy to walk across. Good job. Come on, little buddy. We made a path. We did. And... I'm Checkpoint. So, so happy. It's very happy. I like how there are butterflies flying around. It makes it such a nice touch. In combat, Baby Patch will be ignored by the dragon trappers as his attacks are too weak to be a threat. Aww. If Scribbler is knocked out by the trappers, Baby Patch will be captured. Uh-oh. What? Are you sure? Oh, so wait, I can't really attack? Oh, I can. I froze him. Yeah, but then I, I think then I switch. To, yep, I switch though. Oh yeah, then you can switch to the other guy. Look at how much damage the ice does though. Oh, nice! Nice job. Oh, we got another treasure chest. Looks like they're cooking something over there on that fire. Maybe you can eat some of it. Nope, oh. did not allow me to eat it. Sorry, birds. I feel I feel denied about that. Equip Viking helmet! Yes! Viking helmet! Yes! Awesome! Yeah, this is a pretty... This is a kid-friendly dungeon crawler. I like it. It's, it's actually on your Switch, so... Yay! Yeah, I had a feeling you would like that. Because Vikings, dragons... Uh-oh! Got problems! Who could ask for anything more? Wait! It reloads? Okay, so this is a trap that's gonna keep doing its thing, so... I'm gonna have the... Hatch, watch out! Okay, good. Oh. There we go. That shield came in handy. It did. Patch, freeze him! Yes! Okay, you know what? You guys are... You need to chill. Yeah, see? The ice does damage to them. Good so job. It, it increases my attack. It's like a buff ability, kind of. All right, all right, Patch, you can go back to doing your thing. We got some flowers. I like how his little tail like wiggles as he's walking. Well, it's a happy little baby dragon. So I mean, you gotta let the dragon do its little baby <laughs> stuff. He looks like he's happy. Well, he made a friend for life, so there's that. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, <laughs> that's a really big tree, Patch. 
He just hatched out of an egg. As soon as he was born, he made a friend for life. Mm. I bet it would make a pretty strong bridge. Press Y to swing your axe to knock down that tree. Really? Okay. How are you going to knock down that giant tree? <laughs> Whoa, you are strong. Like that. Wow. Can I knock down this tree too? No. I guess it's Vi only it's select trees. I guess Vikings are just naturally extremely strong. Extremely, extremely strong. Yes. They ate their Wheaties back then. Whoops. Why is it that I'm part Viking, but I can't open a jar of pickles then? Mm, every Viking has their strengths and weaknesses. Amber is a smart Viking, not a strong Viking. So I'd be one of the nerd Vikings? I don't think they had the category nerd. You would be known as a scholar Viking. Navigator? Navigator and scholar, because I get lost without you, so... Okay. I listen to the GPS, and the GPS always gets me lost. I, I translate what the computer says. Yeah, totally. All right. Is there a beryllium sphere on board? I don't think anybody knows that movie anymore, honey. We're, we're too old. What? Old? Yep. What? Wise. We're wise. Or wait, nope, that's not it. Oh. There, yeah! What? You can go around. Just do that. Right there. But didn't I just come from there? No, you didn't. You haven't been there. There was a rock thing. You see? Oh, uh, okay. Now you just have to swing your little axe. My axe! See? A little gimli action there. Navigator! Yep, navigator totally. Alright, so we're gonna move this out of the way. Grab your wares, weird flowers. Okay. So that is... Nope, I didn't want to go that way, did I? Another checkpoint, but I don't want to go here yet. Let's uh, head back to the, where that village was. I saw it. There's a trap right here. So bring out our shield. Boom. Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't a village, but there was definitely something over here. No idea what that is. Lightning or something? Whoa! Okay. I took some damage from that. Ouch. So it uses a heart system, kind of like the Legend of Zelda. You can see it up there. Mm. Like the character's little hearts. All right. And chill out. Chillax. That is so cool. Uh, this game is so chill. It's very chill. It's not all that difficult to play either. I mean, you can pretty much figure out what you're supposed to do from here on out. So, I mean, collecting chests will give you different upgrades and I still don't know what all the different flowers are, but you can find armor pieces, probably better weapons, better shields. Oh, there you go, Amber. Astrid. Halt! I wouldn't take another step if I were you. My nutter never misses and neither do I. Wait, we mean no harm. Are you telling me you didn't have anything to do with the forest fire on the Haven home? Uh, uh far from it. But Patch, uh, that is my Chimera dragon. I mean, my Chimera gun. <laughs> Hatchling scared those trappers away. Chimera what? Oh, <laughs> it's a long story. I'm Scribbler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you're Astrid. <laughs> ah, I see you've met my blabbermouth boyfriend, Hiccup. Stand down, Stormfly. These two are my friends. Friendship is quick in the I Viking know. world. Oh, that's good to hear. Whew. <laughs> well, as your new friend, let me offer some assistance. I can see you've been collecting herbs. How about a trade? Barter system. Some of your herbs for a few of my tonics. Oh, sounds good. Alright, you can now approach Astrid and trade with her. Okay. Ooh. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Need anything? So, the herbs are currency. Alright, so we already have three tonics. Let's get one of these. That looks like it'd be good. Not enough resources, but I got one of them. Yep, you got one. Inventory's full. So yeah, 
That's the whole point of collecting Bye. flowers. Goodbye. Oh, well, she's the one who made all these booby traps. Yeah, Classic she's... Astrid. Yep. Whoa, so basically, whoa, whoa. instead of asking Astrid to take these down, we have to, like, fight through them. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Wait, was there a path to the left there? You saw a path? Yeah. Okay. Aye, there'd be a path. A winding path with a treasure chest. Whoops. Why are you opening it? Dude! Uh, Scribble! Scribbler! Oh, more, more... <laughs> currency for us to make trades. Alright, so we're gonna switch to Mr. Dragon again. Clear a path of well, the ice! the sheep is wa walking on it. That's funny. So pretty! You know, there used to be a time in gaming where you could actually attack the animals. But... Yeah, you could do that in Skylanders. Yep. It's a strange path! This feels fam so familiar to me, even though I don't remember being here before, but I do. It's the same with you, Patch. I feel like we met before, but you just hatched. But how can that even be if you just hatched? Oh, I just said that. You ad-libbed and then it did its thing. Yeah. I feel like my memories are starting to return, but they're fuzzy. I think I should have been a scholar my whole life. Maybe I am. Maybe. Then there's an image of a pale man arriving on our island in an odd ship. One that seemed better suited for the skies than the seas. Hmm. hmm. I'm sure he had a large dragon with him. Could that be the Titan Wing whose trappers are those trappers are looking for? I wonder where it is now. Wow, he really is thinking about a lot of stuff right now. A lot of stuff is happening here. Alright, so the checkpoint. Let's see what else we got going on here. Kinda wanna know what that RAR was all about. Yeah, I think we should try to find it. I think so. Good job, Patch. Making a path through Aye. The, the sea. Alright, so there's... Well, there'd be a treasure chest on the other side. So let's go this way. Beautiful. I love the old, like, wooden bridges and stuff like that. Me too. People taking advantage of the uh, materials that they had back then. Yep. I want to live here. This is this is very pretty. Might be too hot though. Oh, we got a bad guy. Uh oh. I'm gonna put the big chill on him. Oh, it Oops. helps if I actually hit him. Okay, you know oh, what? No. There we go. See, look at that buff ability. And charge attack. Done. Nice. And that's how we roll. Nicely done. Now over here. See, there's that treasure yeah, chest. Yeah, good job. Out of the way, Patch. Okay, weird. Whatever. You've done something. Oh. I think, yeah, you can kind of go over there. I don't know. Like, I don't know what this does, though. Yeah, There's just really... bushes there. Well... No. Not really anything, I guess. So that dude was just randomly here for no reason. Um, I think you can, like, um, you can hit that tree, right? Yep. Good eye. Thanks. Good eye, good eye. Okay. More baddies. Alright, uh, two- th there! No, there! Chill! <laughs> Boom! Oops. Oh, that's good fun. Enough. Oh. That guy was about to eat his dinner. Not anymore. <laughs> he was about to eat his dinner, but he got interrupted. Denied. Denied, yep. Alright, so we're gonna need... That's gonna be nasty on the side. Watch out for Astrid's... I don't know if they're Astrid's traps somebody's. now or not. They're definitely somebody's traps. Uh oh. Oh, you need a... Go this way. Save point. Yep. Well, a checkpoint. Ah, you'd be hiding another treasure chest on us. Okay. Let's see what you did there. I. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I got this. Now, I don't know how long your buckler's gonna last, though. Whoa! I know, because it's made out of wood, so it's like... Well, I mean, that's the kind of shit. Wow, so... I can go right between it. 
I guess um your patch is like super fast, so he's able to dart out of the way really quick. Indeed. Uh oh. Melody again. Or not melody. Kinda look like melody. Yep. Alright. Patch, do your thing. Ow! No, Patch! What no? Oh, I don't have a health bar though for Patch. So we're just gonna Wow, we got a ninja guy there. Look, you're down to one. Oh no! I guess we find out what happens. Game That's it. That's what happens. Just over. game over. Whoa. Should we go the other way? Yeah, let's or? go the other way. There oh, was a treasure chest here. A treasure chest. All right, so we got a herb. Now we got full health though, so. Yeah, I'm dragged again. Aye. Sure, I we love can. The stone like structures and stuff are really pretty. Okay, I already did that. So you actually don't have to trip the booby traps if you don't want to. Like, there's kind of a way around it. See? Whoa! Ow! Never mind. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing. Did, right you, now. did you see that? It was it was pretty there's good, a, right? There's a way around it, you said. Aye. Oh. Well, I mean, like there must have been a way they reinforced that those wooden shields back then, because people actually used them in combat. Mm-hmm. It couldn't have been like, oh, I got hit once. Now I'm no, my shield is gone. Okay. What? I was in the middle of my awesome move. Berserkers. That's to the uh the Viking warriors oh. were that put on the animal skins. Berserkers. And how am I supposed to deal with their uh, shield? Oh, you should get to safety and then put, uh, get some health. Hatch. Oh, I have to hold in the A button to heal. Oh, there, there you we go. go. Uh oh. Take you down. Alright, that one's done. Aha! Okay. How am I supposed to get rid of the bear person? Ah, there we go. Patches how. Maybe get behind them? Oh, ow. Nope, that didn't work. Bring it! Yes! There we go. Good job! Yes, that was worthy of <laughs> small applause. <laughs> no, no, slow clap is not... What? You should have gone to other place to see if there was a chest. Treasure chest. Aye, there'd probably be a treasure chest. No, there'd be nothing here. Whoa, look at that beautiful ship. You know what? I think this is a good stopping point. So anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for our first uh, episode of How to Train Your Dragon New Riders. Yay! Dawn of New Riders. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Thanks again to our friends over at DreamWorks. And make sure you guys check out the new How to Train Your Dragon movie, which is coming out to theaters this February. And if you're interested in this game, let us know. Uh, we feel like it's kind of like Skylanders and just a, uh, you know, top-down dungeon crawler mm -hmm. with really great Celtic music and it's not too bad. I like the art style and it's very cute. But anyway, we'll be looking at this game when it releases in February, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Keep checking back for the playlist as it'll be updated once the game comes out. God bless and happy gaming!